hanging out with NJIT Women's Basketball, joined by the head coach, Mike Lane. I'm Drew Casey. Coach, thanks for joining us here. We're in the, in the preseason, and uh, I'm curious, let's start with how, everything's go how are things going here in October? Well, uh, great to be back. Thanks uh, to be back, and that's what coaches just want to be. <laughs> they just want to be back on the court. Summer is great, uh, but summer is short. And uh, so to be back here in September and, and rolling into October and, and real practices, you know, that's what we like. That's what the players like. Preseason poll coming out. You guys check in fifth out of nine, kind of smack in the middle. What is your reaction and, and thoughts on, on that? Uh, I think it's fair. Um, you know, I, I think it should motivate us. Uh, I think we should be better. Uh, I think we want to be higher. Uh, but I also understand the vote. Um, that's where we came in last year. Um, and we lost that quarterfinal game, so we didn't make an argument to really have a higher seed. Uh, but I think it's also, there is a level of respect of where our program is and where it has been. Um, so I think it's fair with, uh, you know, a sure. little bit of competitiveness that we want to prove that wrong. Coach, let's talk about the squad a little bit. So let's break it down into returning players and some of the freshmen. But first, the returning players, there's a lot of names, mm -hmm. a lot of really, really talented players. What have you, what have you seen in the, in the preseason and in the summer so far from that group? Uh, well, we're obviously in a great position that we have you know, our top six scorers back and you know, I don't know, seven of our top nine kids of logging minutes. Uh, so a lot of experience, not something that we've generally had uh, here. So it's very interesting um, how quickly um, or almost where we are. We've had four practices and we can really play five on five, up and down, doing a lot of stuff that maybe in years past, you know, the ball went out of bounds. We weren't like putting in a, a baseline out of bounds play because we were like, hey, we're not even there yet. Um, where here, there's so much experience that those five kids might be able to just run something from last year. And that's fine, you know. And so it's been great to have all that kind of returning knowledge and experience. And they know what the program is about. They know how we're supposed to practice. They know our approach. And then that just, you know, it, it kind of is throwing the newcomers into the deep end but they'll, their learning curve is accelerated because everybody else knows what they're doing. Um, and so that's, as a coach, you actually really want that. Um, so you're not really like holding everybody back to get the freshmen up to speed. You're kind of like, hey, let's go, you know, get, get sure. up to speed yeah. uh, because we have enough kids out there that, that know what they're doing. Yeah, how, how have the newcomers adjusted? What are you expecting from, from the group of uh, freshmen that you have this year? I, I think they should make an impact. I, I don't, you know, we're, we're not a group that's not played freshmen. It's not, you know, like, hey, we're going to play the best players. We're going to play the players that give us the best opportunity to win. Um, that's the argument they have to make every day in practice. And so far they've been doing that. Their learning curve has been accelerated, but they've met that challenge. Um, you know, I think we have a lot more size in this class than we've had in other classes. Um, so we've seen that just getting into defensive lanes, getting rebounds, getting tips, just a lot more deflections, kind of plays that we haven't made in the past. Uh, so really good to see them. We, of course, know the America East schedule, just who you're playing and when and where, and those details, of course, are available. But let's talk about the non-conference schedule. I think I know the answer to this one. I think anyone who looks at your schedule knows the answer to this. But but what are some of the non-conference games you're you're really looking forward to? Uh, so we obviously have a big one at home here against Notre Dame, which will be uh, amazing. Uh, a game that we've never hosted here on campus. Uh, a team that we really have never played, uh, obviously a Final Four contender. A lot of kids from New York and New Jersey, uh, which is why they wanted this game in this area. So we want to make that as much as a home game as we can, but they're going to have a lot of fans here. Um, and so I, I know the girls are just really excited um, to fill the gym, to play this competition. Um, and there's nothing like having a drill. Uh, as a coach and it's sloppy and be like, you know, that effort ain't going to do it against Notre Dame. And that gets their attention pretty quickly. Um, and then when you follow that up with Miami on the schedule as well, another team who went deep into the tournament, a perennial top 25 team. But we do have some new blood on the out-of-conference schedule, which I think will be good. Obviously, we are still playing a lot of our in-state rivals. Head coach Mike Lane of NJIT Women's Basketball.